This morning's lesson objective is to disassemble the engine, which is a D13H engine. From we will begin from the, the, the rocker cover up to the time we will remove the sump. We will follow the, uh, um, the program called Process, which is provided by Volvo, who are the manufacturers of this engine. They have already removed the rocker cover, which is this part. They have also removed the air intake manifold and other accessories. And this is their engine that they are working on this morning. Okay, guys, can you continue from there? Tapet cover, as you can see here, there is uh, the lower part and there is the upper part. So when this is uh, on top of the engine, it sits like this in this direction. So what happens is that the, the function of the tapet cover is to ensure that uh, we don't have oil that is spilling out of the engine during operation of the engine. So these here are what we call securing bolts. These bolts ensure that the tappet cover is firmly seated on the uh, engine. Then inside the, the tappet cover, we have this. We have um, sorry, we have this this member that sits like the way it came out. It sits uh, here. So this is a lower case which has these connections. These connections, if you see in here, we have four pins. So these pins, they go to our injectors. Yeah, so these, these pins are six. So this means that each pin has a specific injector. Yes. Just below the tappet cover, there's this member here that we call the inlet manifold. The function of the inlet manifold is to ensure that we have the correct amount of uh, air mixture going into the engine. Then if we look closely here, we have what we call a thermostat. This is a thermostat. The function of the thermostat is to ensure that the engine attains working temperature in time. When we turn on the engine, this member comes into operation. There is a stage when this thermostat just allows a little amount of water to circulate during the bypass stage. Yes, then when the engine has reached the optimum temperature, this member contracts and allows sufficient water to come from the radiator through the, the valve and to the system. This is what we call a heat shield. The function of the heat shield is to ensure that when we place this member here, and this is close to the um, exhaust manifold. The exhaust manifold has high temperatures during operation. So what we do is we try to avoid any heat by passing the exhaust uh, manifold to be emitted to this member such that 
we damage this member. Yeah, so this is a function of what we call the heat shield. So on our engine, as you can see, the timing gears are located at the back of this, uh, the engine. And the piston number one is in front. And when we go to, uh, let's uh, specifically pick, say, piston number one, we, we have what we call uh, the injector. This is our unit injector. Our unit injector, if you look closely, there's this bar, the barcode here, that tells the serial number of the injector. So if this one injector is worn, then we need to replace all the injectors. The reason is simple. If we just replace one injector, then the other one will malfunction and the other one will also malfunction. In the end, we find that we are not doing anything. So we've been advised by our program, which we call process. If one injector is 40, we replace all the injectors. Then this member here is what we call a bridge. This bridge, there are two valves here. So there's the, uh, the exhaust valves and the inlet valves. So these work according to the uh, profile of the camshaft. So this is the camshaft, if you pay attention. On the camshaft, we have what we call max. The max here that help us locate the, the, the position of the piston and the, uh, the, the, the one we are supposed to adjust in case of any adjustments. We get our readings from here and from our gears.